Hey, Kyle Sullerud here, and this is the first in a series of 14 videos that I'm going to be releasing to help you clean up your Google Ads campaigns. We're going to cut out wasted ad spend. We're going to help improve your campaign performance and take advantage of new opportunities. Now, this isn't going to help you unless you already have a Google Ads campaign running. If you need to set up a campaign, then you'll want to find my campaign setup tutorial. If you go to my YouTube channel, you should be able to find that. But if you have Google Ads campaigns running, and this series is specifically going to focus on search campaigns, then uh, each day for the next 14 days, I'm gonna give you a little bite-sized uh, piece of information, something for you to go look at in your account and, and give it that attention. It's easy to get caught up and overlook things. So if you follow along with me for these 14 days, we're going to give your account the attention that it needs in, in every area that will be helpful. So this first uh, video is going to look at a few different uh, account type settings, Th some things that really didn't fit into the other videos, but I think are important to look at. First, I want you to look under tools and settings and access and security. And I want you to look and see who has access to your account. There's a user tab here and a manager tab here. And go ahead and get rid of the access for anyone who shouldn't be there. Uh, you may have added someone a while ago, and now there's no reason for them to still have access. Go ahead and get that cleaned up. Uh, next, if you see any alerts like this at the top of your page, you should address them. Google puts alerts up here that they feel are very important. Uh, sometimes they'll need you to accept some type of new terms, and if you don't accept them, your ads will stop. Uh, other times it's just a, a setting that may be going away. For example, right now, a lot of people are getting alerts to change from standard, or change from accelerated delivery to standard delivery. So you need to go make those changes or Google's just going to change them for you. It's important to just know what's going on. So always pay attention to these alerts that come up at the top of the screen. The next setting is an account setting. So I'm not going to go into any campaigns, but I'm going to go into settings and then account settings. And what I'm looking for is this add suggestions setting. You can see this is set to auto apply 14 days after notification. What this means is Google's computers are going to write some ads for your account and they're going to send you an email letting you know that they've written these ads and that these ads are automatically going to turn on in your campaign unless you, unless you tell them not to turn the, the ads on. Well, we don't want that because uh, Google's computers aren't particularly good at writing ads. It's best just to turn this off. That way we don't have to worry about possibly missing that alert when they tell us that, that we have 14 days. Um, let's just turn this off. So click don't automatically apply ad suggestions and then click save and then you won't have to deal with those auto-generated ads at all. The last thing I want to show you is in regard to campaign type. This account you can see has five different campaigns. These top two, you see this little icon means it is a smart campaign. And then the other three with the magnifying glass, these are search campaigns. Smart campaigns, if, if this is what you're running, my recommendation is to actually set up search campaigns and use those instead. The smart campaign options are, are very limited. There's not much we can really do with those. And the results aren't that good. Um, and the results can be deceptive. So let me show you what I mean. So we see at the top here, this smart campaign has 565 conversions, $14 per conversion. This search campaign has 
187 conversions, $13 per conversion. So based on that, it looks like the, the uh, search campaign is performing slightly better than the smart campaign already. But let's take a look at something. If we segment by conversions and conversion action, this is going to list all the different types of conversions that are actually part of this total of 565. So you can see in this smart campaign, there's about 10 different types of conversions being counted. Uh, whereas in the search campaign here, there are only two types of conversions that are actually being counted. If we were to only look at these conversions, the prices page and the booking page view in the smart campaign, these still make up a majority of the conversions, but it's it's not close it's not 565, right? This number would be a lot less, okay? Cuz we're taking out these, we're taking out these. So this number would be a lot less, it would be a lot fewer conversions which means the cost per conversion in the smart campaign is actually a lot higher if we're trying to compare apples to apples, which we should be doing. You sh if you're comparing campaigns, you should be looking at specific conversions compared to specific conversions. Um, so that's just one thing I wanted to highlight. The, the results in a smart campaign can be very deceptive, but the bigger reason is just that you don't have any control over most of what's going on in the campaign. Um, the, the rest of this series isn't going to help you if you're running smart campaigns. I'm going to be focusing on search campaigns and how you can improve the results in your search campaigns. So if you're running a smart campaign, Again, go find my tutorial, my Google Ads campaign setup tutorial and set up a search campaign. Start running that instead of the smart campaign. That would be my recommendation. So that's the end of this first video. Again, there are going to be 14 videos total, so be on the lookout for the next ones. Uh, this, this uh, hopefully you see this, this isn't gonna take you very long. You watch my video, you check a few things in your account, maybe everything looked good, that's great. Maybe you had to change a couple things. Uh, that's the point, is, is that we're catching these things that you may have overlooked for a while, and now we can change them and help you get better results in your campaign. So again, my name is Kyle Sellerud, and I'll see you in the next video.